Adam. It's David. You in the building? Just entered the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A break-in at our Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. Adam, it's David. You in the building? Just entered the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A break-in at our Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. Misunderstanding. Yeah, I could see the hostage takers now. Uh, don't take this the wrong way, but everybody up against the wall. I'm just saying, the only reason people are at the plant tonight is because we've been forced to work so much overtime ever since the first attacks. Good point. No one was supposed to be there, so maybe it's just a break-in gone bad. Jensen? God, man. Didn't expect to see you back so soon. Are you here because of the break-in? Mr. Jensen, you're looking well. Did you come in to find out about the break-in? I'm sure Athena and Mr. Seraph know what's going on. I know, but Jensen, isn't it a bit early to toss him back into the trenches? I hear he's almost fully recovered. His body accepted augmentations with remarkable ease, but that doesn't mean his mind did. We all know what happened when he was with SWAT. The Mexican Town Massacre wasn't his fault. Then why was he kicked off the force? I'm just saying he's too much of a risk. Jensen. Uh, didn't hear you coming. You should probably be heading for the helipad, don't you think? Care to repeat what you were saying about me to my face, Peterson? Hey, hey, listen. I didn't mean anything by it. <laughs> I'm just tense about the Milwaukee Junction situation. Everybody is. And you think telling people that their chief of security isn't up to the job is a good way to make them feel better? No, no, that's, that's not what I... Look, Jensen. Everybody here knows what happened to you six months ago. Normal people don't recover from augmentation surgery this fast. I guess I'm not normal then. Apparently not. Glad we could clear that up. Oh, and for the record, I wasn't kicked off the force. I quit. That's not what the papers said. The papers lie. Ah, uh, uh, well, um, welcome back, Mr. Jensen. The new look suits you. I think it was too much of a risk. I mean, it's a miracle he didn't die in that operation. It looks fine to me. That's not the point. Those additional implants, the tracking system, and whatever else David put inside him, it was unnecessary. The body can only take so much when it's on life support. Well, obviously David felt that after the attacks, it was important to have the best possible security. Is someone there? <laughs> you must be hearing things. Anyway, all I'm trying to point out is that this is just another example of David going too far. You could be right. How do you think Jensen would react if he knew how close he came to death? Hard to say. Anyway, we should get back to work. Sounds like extremists, but I don't know. No one does. Sarah Industries, Attention Ted Bruger, Ted Bruger, please report to Conference Room 7. Conference Room 7. Not sure how I feel about this memorial. What do you mean? The least we can do is remind everyone of the sacrifices our scientists made for this company. For the world, even. Yeah, it's the reminding part that bothers me. I've been in therapy for months trying to forget that night. Seeing the bodies coming out all burned up like that. I wasn't there, 
but I heard it was gruesome. Megan, Eric, Vasily, the whole team gone in one awful flash. How could this have happened? The how is not important anymore. We need to honor them by being true to their vision. Show those terrorists that they can't stop us from finishing the job. Jensen, good to have you back, man. I can't tell you how relieved we were to hear you were going to make it. I'm sorry. I can't imagine how difficult it's been for you. You probably just want to forget, huh? My God! Mr. Jensen! I, I didn't think you'd... Oh, wow. I guess you hear about the break-in. Did you... need directions or something? It hasn't been that long, Cindy. I may not look the same, but my memory's pretty intact. Oh, I, I didn't mean... I, I mean, of course, your memory's fine, sir. It's just that well, things have been switched around a lot ever since the... Well, since the... Ever since the first attack? Yes, sir. The lab floors were pretty much demolished. We're rebuilding them, but most of our researchers are working off-site now. Everyone else has been shuffled around, so if you need help finding someone... Where's the tech lab? It's not really a lab, sir. It's more of an office with a lot of computer equipment shoved in it. Mr. Pritchard complains about it all the time. Uh, go up the stairs behind me and take a right. You'll find it near the end of the hall. I don't suppose we moved the helipad, did we? I... I don't see how we could have moved it. <laughs> oh, you're teasing me. <laughs> Very funny, Mr. Jensen. Go up the stairs to the second floor, then around the cafeteria to the exit. I think I saw Farida heading there earlier. You said everyone's been moved around? Almost everyone. Who are you looking for? I need to get to Seraph's office. Oh, he and Mrs. Margulis are still in the penthouse. You can use the elevator at the left wing of the building to get there. Has my office been moved? No, sir. You still have that great view of the lobby. Mr. Pritchard wanted it, but Mrs. Margulis put a stop to that. Up two floors and make a right. Thanks. That's what I'm here for. Anything else, sir? I'll find my way. If you say so. It's... it's good to have you back, sir. Please report to the Human Resources Office. Frank tells me he's still waiting for you, Adam. You don't have time to mess around. Get to the tech lab, or something seriously bad is gonna happen. Those guys were obviously military. These ones are just vandals. Vandals with guns and bullets that kill people. Look, David cares about his people, but he needs to protect his client's interests. Don't worry, I'm sure he's got a plan. Jensen, I knew the boss had an ace up his sleeve. Good to have you back. Adam? Welcome back. I thought you were still in recovery. You and you guy too? I've been here two months. I hope I haven't tied myself to a sinking ship. Jensen? What are you doing here? I wouldn't have put two credits down on you ever walking again, let alone coming back. Adam, you're in today too? I guess Sarif called you about the Milwaukee Junction affair? Oh man, look at this. I didn't think we'd see you for another six months, no matter what Sarif said. Coming for six months. Okay, bye. We haven't heard any details, but it does. 
doesn't look good. James Octopus, please report to the central center. Is it really you? Jensen, nice surprise. Saraf is bringing in the big guns to handle the break in. Oh, hello, Mr. Jensen. I didn't know you were coming back. So soon, I mean. just the isolation. It's a lack of leadership. Megan held everyone together so well, she was always the voice of reason. I miss Megan too, Heather. That's why I make it a point to fight through the stress and try to finish the work she started. You're right, I know. It's just, sometimes it feels like we're hanging on by a thread. I just hope David gets that. Hey, when did you get back, Adam? Well, listen, I... I know how close you and Megan were, okay. if ever you want to talk about it. It's good to have you back, Adam, especially with what's going on tonight. Adam Jensen. Mr. Seraph's called in his expert to handle this thing, huh? That's a relief. I can't believe this. Why the hell is anyone attacking us? Do we even know who these guys are yet? Sorry, Mr. Jensen, I'm really busy. The media is looking for reactions on the break-in, and Lyle's got me fact-checking. Jensen. Mr. Seraph's called in his expert to handle this thing, huh? Attention, Ted Bruger. Ted Bruger, please report to conference room seven. Conference room seven. Thank you. 
Dr. Sandusky, please report to testing lab 1C. Dr. Sandusky, testing lab 1C. Christ, Adam, while you were strolling around the offices, the situation got worse. Meet me in the chopper, I'll explain.
About time? What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might be. Oh. Oh. Looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. If you got a problem with me, Pritchard, why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. <laughs> That's gotta be a first. I'm the one who told Sarif we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough... Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacore, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list, but Sarif wanted somebody in-house. And so did Dr. Reed. I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it, you'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. No one was about to hire you. You really have to stop getting your news from those Pikus blogs, Francis. They only confuse you. The point is, if Sarif had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But Megan, God love her, always did have Sarif's ear. Sarif's ear is going to be hearing a report about violence in the workplace if you keep this up. You really feel like continuing? Point taken. Oh, and by the way, Jensen. I know you've gone through a lot of physical changes of late, but you didn't become a woman. Stay out of the ladies' restroom. As enjoyable as this little chit-chat has been, isn't Sarah waiting for you at the helipad?
Madam Jensen, it's so good to have you back, even if the conditions for your return aren't all that auspicious. Seraph didn't really tell me much, Athena. Just something about a break-in at the factory. How serious is it? Plenty. Some of our people were inside when it happened, working overtime. On a Saturday evening? Things have been difficult since... since we lost so many good people. Everybody's had to do extra shifts to meet deadlines. Most clients were understanding, but not every contract can be delayed. Especially the military ones. So what am I looking at here? Well, David knows more than I do. Get to the helipad, he'll fill you in. happening at the manufacturing plant? Some kind of breaking. But this is the second time the biotechnology firm has been attacked. The first time, six months ago, on the eve of controversial hearings set to scrutinize the company's... Jensen? Jeez, wasn't expecting you back for weeks yet. If ever. Sorry, Mr. Jensen, but things are really unsettled right now. Mr. Pritchard in the tech lab. Jensen. Oh, we were just hey, wow. Chatting. Welcome back, Jensen. About the uh, really Mr. Jensen, good timing. Oh, I guess that's why you're here. I thought the uh, the police would be handling it. I mean, I'm sure you can too. Mr. Saraf wouldn't call you in if he thought you weren't ready, right? I thought the uh, the police would be handling it. I thought the, uh, the police. Seriously, man, I'm glad you're back. I feel think safer I saw already. For Rita. We're under attack again. Jensen, I'm getting the feeling someone. Has... Do you know what's happening at the manufacturing plant? Adam, are you here because of Milwaukee? Some kind of break.
Good to have you back, though. Sorry, you're can't looking talk great right now. Too much. Some of our people are working in there. Last minute run. You and you guy too? You had your say, and I learned my lesson. Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Don't I know it. I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you? Six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Only one way to find out. Roger that. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. <laughs> 